Hey there, it is Licky Giraffe. How's it going, guys? This is my very first uh, video to YouTube. And uh, I guess, yeah, I guess I uh, introduced myself a little bit. So I've never never really done YouTube before. Uh, this, is, this is kind of my, my first foray into it. And the reason I've kind of started this, uh, this, this kind of series of videos about my channel is because um, I've been playing video games my whole life, and I don't know. I kind of thought it would be really interesting to uh, you know, kind of sit down, play through the video games, and also kind of narrate what I do, and uh, take take you guys through my thought process. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, so I guess uh, kind of see how it goes. To be honest, I don't have a any particular format. Uh, it's pretty much just going to be me me playing through uh, whatever game I feel like. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just talking about the game, uh, my thoughts on the game, and yeah, I guess giving you the viewer the, an insight into into my thought process while I'm playing the game. So without further ado, my first game that I'm going to be uh, showcasing is Dark Souls. So if none of you guys have ever played Dark Souls before, it's a notoriously difficult game, uh, released a couple of years ago. Uh, however, it is one of my favorite games, and I particularly enjoy this game because I find it to be really fair. Uh, so, for example, it's very tough. However, you know, if, if you make a mistake, you'll die really quickly. But it's your mistake. You know, the the game never cheats you. It's always just you messing up. Uh, so that's just my character. Um, so I'm actually pretty, pretty far on through um, through the game at the moment. I'm in, uh, I'm in a section called An Orlando. Uh, so there you go. Nice, uh, nice view. So what I'm actually going to be doing for the start of this playthrough is I'm going to be uh, warping over to the DLC content. It's actually the first time I've played the DLC content. Yeah, the first one played through Dark Souls, as, uh, I had absolutely no idea uh, that I even had the DLC. So this is actually pretty new to me. So I've already done some of it, and pretty much where you guys are uh, are picking me up from is uh, I am about to go and attempt to defeat the Dragon Calibit. So uh, off I go. Uh, now this is uh, this is the arena where I fought and killed uh, Artorius, which is uh, like a, I, know, I don't actually quite know the uh, backstory of Dark Souls. Uh, I, know I never really looked into it, but um, from what I get, what I gather, he was a knight, really really cool guy who eventually just kind of got corrupted and turned evil. But uh, I killed him anyway. So, uh, so that was fun. So I'm uh, just uh, one down the steps here. Um, if you're wondering why I seem so confident to where I'm going, I've already tried to kill this guy a couple times and failed. So I kind of know the route. Luckily, actually, it doesn't take too long to get to him because uh, one of the uh, one of the gameplay elements in Dark Souls is that if you die. You get set, you know, you get, get sent back to a checkpoint or a bonfire, and all the enemies respawn. So if you say try to fight a boss and you die, then you get transported back to the checkpoint, and all the enemies respawn. So we're trying a we're trying a boss can actually take quite a while because you need to fight your way back to the boss before you can get to try him again. But uh, okay, so this is pretty much where the battle is going to take place. Uh, as you can see down there, that little, uh, little green thing, that's where I died last time. So in Dark Souls, uh, you gather what's called Souls, uh, which is the counter at the bottom right. And you pretty, much, you pretty much make yourself stronger through using Souls. However, if you die, then you have one chance to go and pick up uh, the Souls you had when you died. Uh, else if you die again before you pick them up, you lose them forever. And that can be a real pain in the ass. So I anyway, left the dragon. Now, I'm pretty well prepared for this fight. Now, I've got a really good shield. So 
uh, it's actually it's, it's, a, it's a unique shield, it's the uh, the great shield of Artorius. Uh, it's gonna take a while. This guy is pretty tough. That, uh, just it's quite a lot of different attacks. Pretty strong as well. So it's a bit of a pain, I won't lie. Should see we're taking quite a beating. But luckily, you heal yourself using what's known as Estus Flasks. Oh shit. So the ability where he lifts you up, he just does damage. Can't really avoid that one. Well, can, I'm just not very good at it. screen and uh, well, you go back to the last point where you rested at so if so I didn't rest at the one I went to first time you know warp back there then rest there then go back so another loading screen and yeah so you can see here in the bottom right I have zero souls because uh, I died so now I need to go back pick up the, the little green ghost thing uh, and uh, that'll pretty much get me back all my souls. But if I die before I pick it up, I will I'll lose all of them. So it's generally pretty important to try to pick them up. But sometimes you do uh, you do have to um, kind of bite the bullet and uh, leave them be because once you enter, say like that uh, that gate, and that entry requirement can be the big kind of white gate. You can't go back until you kill the boss. So sometimes you know you're like you're getting nowhere with a boss, and you just keep dying over and over again. Sometimes you do just have to leave it, and uh, and uh, yeah, leave all the souls and go somewhere else. To try to get yourself stronger. So again, see what I mean? All these dogs respond. Uh, sneaky bugger. No match for me though. You know, so on the top of the screen, I have the red bar and the green bar. So the red bar is health. Uh, obviously, if that, uh, that empties, then I die. And the green bar is stamina. So sprinting, as you can see, what I'm doing right now, uses up stamina. Uh, but it replenishes quickly. But I pretty much I need that to block. Uh, so you can see, there we go. There's my little green ghost. I'm pretty much in the exact same place as it was last time. So let's zoom down this ladder and get over to that pretty quick because I want to make sure that I'm turning around facing the dragon uh, so he doesn't like hit me in the back or anything. That wouldn't be a great start off. So let's pick that up. Okay. Now, so you can see I've got my, uh, I've got my souls back. So now I just need to wait for the dragon to come to us. I might need to just do this because if I wait for him to come over here, then it's a lot easier to actually. Oh, Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> That's a lot easier to uh, regain my souls and stuff. However, sometimes he does that move, which I still haven't quite got the hang of uh, blocking yet. Damage. As you can 
you see he's got an absolute load of different attacks, so it's really hard to try to figure out exactly when he's going to attack. Oh, crud. Yeah, see, I'm getting pretty beat up here. Not doing too well. Ah, oh, jeez. So a lot of the, a lot of the kind of folks of Dark Souls is it's kind of centered around bosses, and it's important to try and learn uh, how the bosses attack, what their move sets are. They they only have a set number. So it kind of encourages a, a trial and error, uh, where eventually you need to spend say, the first couple of times learning the boss's move set and like, what he can do, and then after that you spend, spend the next couple of times. You know, now that you've learned his move set, oh dear. trying to find out where his weaknesses are based on his moveset and then hopefully they will take him down so see he always does that oh just managed to get out of it there attack him there at the groin My time spent playing World of Warcraft, something you learn is the safest place to be when you're ever fighting a dragon, I guess it's a good advice for anyone, is the side. You want to try to be at the side of the dragon. So the front of the dragon obviously has the teeth and the fire, the back has the tail. However, the side, usually relatively undefended. So, there you go, that's a, that's a Mark Pro tip for you there. Also, uh, yes, my name is Mark. But I like the term Licky G, you know, I find it's a pretty cool alias. So, usually I'll refer to myself as Licky Giraffe, Licky G, other times, uh, other times uh, I might forget that and use Mark, but, you know, whatever. Now, see, this little thing I have above my head pretty much means. I take a lot of damage from him, so I want to try to avoid him until I can kind of get that debuff away from me, because he hits pretty hard regularly, and he does even more damage with this buff on, so you really want to try to avoid being attacked by him. Like I said, he does a lot of damage. You need to be careful, kind of make sure you time things right. Don't get hit unnecessarily. I'm actually doing pretty well here. Better than just jinx myself. But kind of slow and steady. Ah, oh, darn it. Let's that move again. It's okay, it doesn't do too much damage. Still pretty annoying. Kind of just hope it's not as well. I've got the debuff on me again. So, gotta try to be extra careful. Uh, let's see, he's gonna do that. Wasn't able to avoid it that time. See, I'm taking a lot of damage. I need to be careful that I don't die. So that would suck. See, that was stupid. This is another Estus Flask, which is kind of how you heal yourself in Dark Souls. Uh, I have quite a few, so you only start off with, I think, 10. Now, this is time to be extra careful because he's almost dead. Well, I've had it before where the boss is maybe one or two hits away from death and you do something stupid. 
and he ends up killing you. Those are the most frustrating times you can possibly imagine. So the important thing is to stay calm, stay cool, don't get excited. Just pick when you're going to attack. Don't do anything stupid. Ah, jeez. Cut nothing again. I'm going to get that debuff on me again. So again, i got to be extra careful. No, I don't do anything stupid. Ah, perfect. Awesome. That was the first time I've ever killed that boss. And uh, I think before I started, uh, started uh, putting this up on YouTube, I think I'd maybe tried that boss six or seven times. So uh, yeah, I think that was that was pretty lucky, you know. So uh, thanks, guys. You uh, you must have uh, must have uh, I don't know, given me some extra luck there or something. But. Uh, I think there then is probably a pretty good point to uh, stop my first video. So, um, so yeah, thanks a bunch for um, thanks a bunch for watching. Uh, I guess subscribe if you want to. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably just gonna keep throwing these up uh, whenever I have time. So I, I don't uh, I don't really care too much about uh, you know about say like uh, please like tell your friends about this or anything. But you know, if you have any comments or you feel like you're doing something better, or you want something, you, know, you think something uh, a little bit, you know, a little, bit of a change would make things a lot better. You know, let me know. Uh, like I said, I'm very new to this, so I uh, I don't really know too much about the whole YouTube thing. But uh, yeah, uh, like I said, let me know, and uh, I will talk to you guys uh, soon. All right, thanks.